Hmm. I am sadly not as Halloween creepy as I wanted to be for this video, but I mean, the dark makeup, sort of makeup, black, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey beautifuls, so today I am so pumped right now to give you guys my Halloween haul. Ah! It's just the beginning of October, but I've literally been living and breathing Halloween since the end of August, okay, because I'm crazy. Full spiel, I love fall. If you're new to my channel, I'm obsessed with Halloween. I love fall. Um, I'm a fall baby. My birthday is November 19th, and I just love fall. I love this time of year. I love when the seasons change. I'm just such, like, I don't know. I, around this time of year, I really like to just be outside, and I love taking my walks in the morning, and just, like, it's nice and chilly, and just, I don't know. It just makes me really happy. So, um, naturally, I'm obsessed with Halloween, and I love horror movies. I love anything, you know, black and orange and creepy and all that kind of stuff. Last year, I did a Halloween haul. I decided I'm just going to do another one this year, because why not? Every year, I go crazy. If you guys want to see what I got in this haul, then uh, just keep watching, and let's just get stuck to it. Last that I checked, by the way, today's Friday that I'm filming this video. Yes, shoot me. I know I suck. We are one subscriber away from 2,000. The minute we hit 2,000, I'm literally going to go outside and scream. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm going to be so pumped and excited but I'm also going to be giving you guys something really exciting it's not Halloween themed but um, it is a makeup product that I've really been wanting and I'm actually going to order two of them maybe this weekend I want to give one away to you guys and I just I, I really love um, this makeup brand so, so I really wanted to get you guys this as kind of like my thank you to subscribing and being there and supporting me and this is all for all my, all my OG subscribers that have been here since like 2012 like I love you guys thank you thank you so much first things we're gonna talk about are from pink of course buy a lot from pink anymore you guys know my whole thing about that I will link that video down below if you're confused of what I am even talking about I love when they come out with their Halloween stuff because I go absolutely nuts over it this year I'm kind of like iffy about it I mean they brought back the skeleton onesie from last year like mm, like I don't know if it glows in the dark I could be wrong but mm, like mm, I'm not mm, mm, I don't know about that did manage to get some goodies I actually might exchange these for smaller sizes because they are so huge on me and I I'm going to be going back tomorrow actually to get a long sleeve because I, I want one. <laughs> Um, shirt that I got was this one. This is orange one. It says Bad Witches Only. It has a cute little bat on the sleeve. I am obsessed with this shirt. I actually like this one a lot more than the other one that I bought just because it's like orange and black and you know it's a typical Halloween scheme but it's really cute and I like that it says you know something different because I feel like with pink they recycle a lot of their old sayings which is there's nothing wrong with that but um, you know, with Halloween stuff and just like holiday stuff, you know, you would think that they would just like switch it up every year. Like certain songs came out and they would take like the, like the certain bits from each song and put them on a shirt. Like that was pretty cool. I did enjoy that. But, um, you know, repeating the same sayings every single year is getting a little boring. So Pinky, you gotta step it up here. And the other one that I got is just the same old, same old with the skeleton hands on the boobs. It's a little scandalous. So I, I don't recommend if you're in high school or middle school you wear this to school to be honest and on the back it says here for the booze yes yeah I, I don't recommend you wear this to school but um it is cute I do like it um this part actually apparently glows in the dark I'm not sure about the back side but uh that's pretty cool I mean I don't know I'm kind of iffy on it might return it might just exchange it I have no idea yet next I have the panties I'm so excited I really love the designs this year and I actually really like that um I know a lot of people don't that the a lot of them have this um, this lace around it and just says pink, 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 but it's kind of subtle in a way, so it's like you can't really tell that it's a pink brand. Like, I don't know. I kind of like that it's sort of like a, a subtle logo, you know, promotion instead of just having it be like pink, 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 pink all over it, which I am starting to really not like that anymore. Um, maybe that's just me, though, again, growing up, but I just can't stand with everything saying pink, 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 literally all over it. I mean, like this, this is fine. It just says pink underneath this, but... Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. This one I got were these hipster ones and it says creeping it real. I got these boy shorts with the sort of same design. It just says witch please on there. I actually bought this panty twice and had to return the other one. <laughs> one of my favorite patterns. I got this thong with the little jack-o'-lantern faces on there. Oh, it's so cute. It's so, so cute. I love it so much. I have this hips, this other hipster panty with candy corn all over it. Cute. I love candy corn too. Fun fact about me, a lot of people hate candy corn. I love 
love candy corn. This one I have is this one with all the jack-o'-lanterns. It's so cute. I really like this one. It says Wicked on there. I know that there's three panties I still don't have, but I don't really mind because I'm literally overflowing panties right now, so... I don't need any more. <laughs> Next we're gonna go through the things from Bath and Body Works. I already filmed this before so the stuff's already out. Typical Sam, right? Their Happy Halloween candle. I really enjoy that they put a how uh hi. I really enjoy that they put out a Halloween candle this year. Um, however, the scent I'm not crazy about, and I won't lie, I bought it for the novelty because it has Halloween stuff on it, and there's uh pumpkin people and cats, black cats, and tombstones and bats, you know. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I bought it for the novelty. Now that I've been smelling it, like, it doesn't, it smells very cinnamony. It's the sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle, basically. It's kind of growing on me. I don't know. Just like how I thought, oh, I hate sweet cinnamon pumpkin body spray, and it's like all I've been using all fall. Picked up three of the tiny little candles. I wish they made these bigger sizes because I really love the scents of all of them. So the first one is Vampire Blood. Oh, finally they put this in a candle. Oh, it smells so good. This is actually my mom's favorite hand sanitizer, so I'm gonna have to go back and see if I can find more of these and get them for her. The next one is Boo, which this one smells kind of like, um, the uh, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle they've had out. I don't know if they have that back this year. Let me know. I didn't see it, so mm, that's like one of my favorites. Last one is Perfect Pumpkin, which seems to be like the scent of like the season. I don't know because their body care is Perfect Pumpkin. They didn't have. I kind of wish that they would have expanded on Vampire Blood and Boo a little more though. So speaking of Perfect Pumpkin, I got all of the body care because again, I'm crazy. My mom and I literally went to the beginning of September and I was like, I need all the Halloween stuff. They literally just came out with their Halloween display. I went absolutely crazy. Spent a lot of money, yeah. Uh, all for a good cause, of course, Halloween. So I got the Fine Fragrance Mist, and then I just got the Body Cream and the Shower Spell. That's what it's called. It's literally called Shower Spell. See? See? Shower Spell. So I'm really excited to use these. I'm actually going to use them this month along with my Lush uh, Aliens and Monsters uh, Soap Play-Doh. Very excited about it. Finally all of the sanitizers. The ones that I have in here are Perfect Pumpkin, Buried Alive, Vampire Blood, Web of Lies. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. They had a lot of different, like, this is all the same sanitizer. They just have, like, different pumpkins. Like, one has, like, headphones on and stuff. This one's kind of, like, the girly one. So, I wanted to get this one. Ghoul Friend. Or a Ghoul Friend. No, it's Ghoul Friend. So cute. These are not Halloween themed, but I wanted to share them with you guys anyways. Cool. I just got a couple more candles when um, my mom and I went back to the mall and uh, they were having this sale and I wanted a couple more like fallish candles because I don't know, I felt like the ones that I had gotten in my previous fall haul that I um, that weren't really, com I don't know, like I wanted more basically. I didn't want just the Halloween ones. I wanted like fall ones too. Pumpkin cupcake. Yes! This is my favorite. I love this so much. Oh, you're back. You are back in my arms. This is one of my favorite pumpkin candles. I don't like pumpkin, as you guys know, so this is bomb. This one is a new one. This is the pumpkin French toast, and I was either going to get this or pumpkin pecan waffles again, but then I was like, you know what? Let's just add this to the waffles. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It literally smells like French toast. So I'm really excited to burn this. It's probably going to make me hungry for French toast, so I'm probably going to have to make some after. So we are going to move on to hot topics. So the first thing I'm actually going to share with you guys is this pudding collar that I got um, quite a while ago, actually. I love Harley Quinn, just like every other girl. I know after seeing Suicide Squad. I know, I know, I know. But I was actually kind of getting fascinated with her even before Suicide Squad came out. Um, I really feel like she's like my spirit animal because she's crazy and she loves Joker and he doesn't love her and I don't know It's just a whole I'm very fascinated by it and I know like there's a lot of abuse and stuff So that part's not good obviously, but just her like I really love her. I love how like spunky and like psycho she is like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But there will be a Halloween tutorial coming on her, but I'm actually going to mix it up and add the Joker in there. So I'm really excited. So cross your fingers that I actually get a chance to do that. So I'm starting my job at the end of the month. <laughs> the next thing is this Harley Quinn beanie. Oh my gosh, I love it. It says Property of Joker. And it's funny because David actually got a beanie from the Dark Knight Joker when he's like, let's put a smile on that face. That's what it says on there. And it's like, kind of like we match. It's kind of like he's my Joker and I'm his Harley Quinn. So it's really cute. But I really love this beanie. And I'm definitely going to be wearing it quite a lot and adding this to my beanie collection. 
I'm still butthurt about my famous bean, though. I'm sorry. I'm just really butthurt about it, and I really wish I could find it. <laughs> Next couple things I did not buy. David actually bought these for me. He surprised me with them. He actually went to the mall with his friend, and he saw that they... He took a picture of this and showed me, and I was like, oh my god, we gotta go to the mall. I gotta pick that up. I gotta buy it. But uh, he actually ended up buying it for me. This is the Harley Quinn Limited Edition Pink and Blue Splat Rebellious Colors color kit. I've used this stuff before when you guys remember when I tried to do my pink hair that came out kind of red. Um, I'm really excited. I'm actually going to try and do this. I think I might wait a little bit because again I am going to be starting my new job at the end of the month and I don't want to kind of you know start out with pink and blue hair but I am going to be using this. I'm really excited about it and uh, oh my god I'm just so excited. Oh my god. Like I'm really excited for this and it was just really sweet that he thought of me and was like oh I'm going to get it for her so thank you baby I love you. And along with that he's so sweet. Like he's so sweet. He's like you need one for your hair. So uh, he actually ended up getting me the uh, Harley Quinn hairbrush they had. It says Daddy's Little Monster on there and I just I love it. It is so cute. And I have used this. I just have been keeping it so there is hair in it but uh, I love it. It is so cute. He's just so sweet. I said to you guys in the past, David has a very bad memory and he has a hard time remembering things. And you know, just when he when he just goes out of his way and like gets me something, like I don't know, it just means the world to me because it's a very rare thing, like very rare. And it's not because he doesn't want to do that. It's because he can't remember. But I really appreciate it, and I'm I'm really happy. The other thing that I got, this is actually going to be for my Harley Quinn costume. You guys can kind of see what it is. This is the Harley Quinn bat. This is only 12 bucks. I will say for the record. Um, because I did just get this a couple weeks ago. And on it has like her writing. This is actually like a lullaby, I guess she said in um, Ar Arkham City video game. One of the Arkham games. I'm not sure. Yes, I'm Harley Quinn obsessed. I've been doing a lot, a lot of research, you guys. I don't even know. Good night on there. And I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. I kind of wish that it was like a real baseball bat, though. Kind of wish I would have had the time to create my own. But either way, I'm really excited about it. And it's really cute. And uh, I just, I literally cannot get enough of this. Like, oh my God. The thing I just wanted to mention quickly, I'll insert a picture right here. I got this Harley Quinn sweater as well from Hot Topic. It was very expensive. So, mm, yeah, it was really expensive. So cute. Just as daddy's little monster in there. It's kind of like her shirt but in a sweater form. I wore it to Dave and Buster's. I wore it a couple weeks ago. I really love it a lot. It's just such a cute sweater. This Harley Quinn thing I have to show you guys is the Harley Quinn Pop Heroes <laughs> vinyl figure. I was looking for this one specifically. I actually bought the one of her in her dress in the movie when she's in the club with Joker, but um, that wasn't the one I wanted and I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just, you know, this is better than having nothing. So I actually found this one at um, FYE, so definitely go check them out because Hot Topic doesn't carry this one anymore, um, as far as I know. And it's just really cute. It has all her little details and her bat and her tattoos and I'm just really obsessed. I love it so much. It is so cute. I actually was going to get the Joker too and I was like eh, I'll just get Harley for now maybe I will get Joker in the future so they can match but I am so excited now I do have a question for you guys because I've never had one of these before do you if you have these do you keep them in their boxes and just display them do you take them out like what do you do like do you collect them are these like high collectors items things I mean I don't think I would ever let this go even like if it was worth like a million dollars I would not let it go I'd be like no this is my Harley you can't have her she's mine 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 first thing is this Halloween candy dish. This is so cute. I actually, I think this is about three, yeah, this is three dollars in the Target One Spot section. Really cute. You can just put the candy in there, reach your hand in there, and take it out. I've been using this as my candy dish right near my perfumes and stuff for the past few weeks. I'm obsessed with it. It's got like hairspray on top of it, but it is so, so adorable, and I, I really love it a lot. It's just very simple. It's cute, and it's simple, and it has a purpose, so that's why I like it. I don't like a lot of Halloween decorations that are kind of like themed for the year or like that are in trend or in style because things go out, not that things go out of style, like it doesn't matter, you could still use it, but I don't know. I, I like very simple Halloween decorations. I don't like things to be too crazy. And I also picked this up. This little witch sign was so cute. I got this at the beginning of September. Again, this is what's been on my door and it makes a noise every time I open and shut the door. Just says the witch is in with this little mirror and it has a little in and out. And so I was doing it at first and then I was just like, eh, whatever. But it is really, really cute. Again, simple, cute, nothing too crazy, nothing too like cheesy, but just kind of 
kind of nice. This was also one of the first things that I bought for Halloween. This was $5 in the Target One spot again. The witch sign I think was $3. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was $3. I'm not sure if they still have them though. They keep, you know, getting new stuff in. It's just a pumpkin kind of bowl with a lid to it if I can get it up because this tape is taping it closed right now. And basically you could put like candy in there, put whatever. And I bought this because I really like that, you know, it's perfect for Halloween because pumpkins but for fall in general and like Thanksgiving. So it's like you can use this for Halloween and then, you know, change it out for Thanksgiving or, you know, do whatever with it. It's not just for one holiday. Like it's kind of multi-purposeful too. So I really enjoy it. Last thing that I got from the one spot, I had to get these no matter what. You have to understand. I love Hocus Pocus. It's, I think everyone does. It is one of my favorite Halloween movies. Fun fact though, I actually never really full on watched it until I was about... 13, 14 years old. Yeah. Fun fact. I remember we were, uh, we were living in Maine. My sister and I were sitting on the floor in our living room. We just watched a Halloween movie on ABC Family and then Hocus Pocus came on and I was like, oh, why haven't, we've never watched this before. And we just sat there and we watched it and we loved it. We were like, oh, I love this movie. I love this movie. So little fun fact. So I ended up getting the Hocus Pocus pillows. Oh my gosh. They are so freaking cute i love them and again they're very simple and to just say hocus pocus on them they were five bucks for two and they come attached so you can detach them you can do whatever with them i think these are adorable they're gonna go right on my bed for now but of course when david and i get our own place i'm gonna decorate it up but i love these so much another fun fact um in my family with um our last name i'm not well with my mom's last name my mom's maiden name last name on my mom's side of my family um, I'm not going to say it, but um, it's like Hocus Pocus, here comes another, and then our last name. So, I like, I don't know, it's a little inside joke thing too. So, Hocus Pocus! I love it. It's so me. Oh my god, I love these so much. <laughs> Quickly, these couple things I got from Dollar Tree. First is just this pair of little Halloween anklet socks. They are so cute with little jack o lanterns on them. They remind me of my dad because he always used to get me and my sister, like, holiday socks for whatever holiday, like Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, so memories and then I found these cute cute scarves I'm not sure if they still have them so I'm sorry but it's just so cute it's got like all these little like little cats and skeletons jack-o-lanterns bones candy corn stars it's just so adorable and I'm definitely going to be wearing this the week of Halloween on Halloween if I gotta work on Halloween, I'm gonna wear this because I love it so, so much. It's so cute. Last few things I'm gonna share with you guys are from Halloween makeup collections that I found. Um, mainly Wet n Wild and Simple Colors. They put out their little Halloween collections that they do every year, so I just picked up some stuff. This is actually from Walmart. I got two of these. I have a white one. I think it's on the floor still. These are just black cream makeup, and then I got white cream makeup because I am gonna be painting my face for um, a special Halloween tutorial. A couple special ones, so I needed some black face paint. They were a dollar. I hope it doesn't break me out. I'm scared, terrified. Wish me luck. From the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Collection, I got this painter's palette this year with all these little colors. Uh, this one is called Mesmerizing Mermaid. I tried to use, I won't lie, I tried to use this last year and it wasn't really that much of a, of a success. So I am going to try my best to mix colors or try to um, like dig around with a toothpick to get it out better. Because last year, the trying to get these colors out of the, of the other palette I have was just a nightmare. I have, oh, I'm so excited. I have four, well there's actually one more. I think it's hiding in my makeup stuff because I am doing a makeup haul soon. Um, these are just some of their limited edition Halloween ones. So these are, these two are glow in the dark. This one is called Dead On and it's got little bats in there, right? Are they bats? They look like bats. Oh no, they're little like skeletons. So very, very cute. It's like a light little iridescent purple. And then this one, oh, this is one I, w I went to first. I was like, oh my God, this one has just little bats in it. It's like their regular glow in the dark formula but just with tiny little bats and they're so so cute uh, this one it's called devil stare this one was actually on my toes for a while oh so cute i love it it is such a beautiful beautiful color like you put two layers of this on you are done this one that i got is this gray one it's got these silver um flecks in there and it's called uh where a werewolf 
very cute no so that was everything in my Halloween haul for 2016 I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you in some way I hope that you guys can still find a lot of this stuff especially in the Target one spot because literally when I see something I grab it because guarantee the next time it's not gonna be there more than likely so that's just my best advice I always go there first when I go for Halloween decorations Valentine's Day Christmas just because they are very inexpensive and cute and you know you don't have to pay a whole crap ton of money for you know decorations and make your house look cute um but yeah so um if you guys have any questions or anything leave them down below i have a whole crap ton of videos planned for this month that i'm really excited about and uh i am so ready for halloween so let's bring it on let's bring it on i love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you want to see more of me 2000 is right around the corner you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye uh, uh, uh. I don't know what the hell that was. I just decided to start doing it.